M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu857D, using the U5 link as an interface for FT8. There's quite a few cables, but the good thing is, although there are lots of cables, it is pretty much plug and go once you've got your settings in WJSTX. As you can see, it's running. We've only literally just got this working, and you do need a couple of items. Coming from the U5 link, you've got speaker and mic. They are green and yellow. Most modern computers, laptops, don't have a speaker and microphone. So you buy one of these adapters and they, they are colored green and yellow. So just plug them in the same. The USB connection just goes to the PC, just like in the normal way. On the back of the U5 link, you've got a data and cat cable just be very careful putting these in easy to bend the pins and then they go across to the 857 and you can see that the data cable is on the right and the cat is on the left I did have to sort of cut the corners off the cable that came in the box just so it because it wouldn't quite fit but that was fine just did that with a Stanley knife be careful HF antenna long wire 9 to 1 ballon for a tuner, I'm using this ATU100. It's got a bit a built-in battery. It does work. Um, I would just say that the battery, if you leave the unit unplugged for a while, drains. So you need to charge it, and then you'll probably get a couple of hours out of it. And it does work better when it's fully charged. We all know the 857D. Now we've set the meter, if you press F, to I. Turn it until you see the word meter here, and then you can set the ALC power ETC. I think we're running about 25 watts at the moment. I have set it to digi mode here with the up and down bounds. Just get set it to digi mode. Hold down the F menu and go to 19 and set your cat rate to 38400. Menu 20, set it to cat. Starting to get some contacts come through now, just to show you that it is working. I will show you my settings while we're uh, looking at that. So we go file, settings. You look here, FT857. This is radio settings, COM11. So to get your COM, just right click your device manager. Right click, device manager, and double click COM, look. 11 that's your number so we've got 11 here I've ticked 8 and 2 if you're getting connection you can test cat if you can't test the cat and the PTT then you've got something wrong we've got cat selected for PTT method I didn't touch these two and we've definitely got cat control the radios TXing on its you know with the work from WSJT X so give it a go. I mean, it's a lot of wires, you think, for, for this setup. But it's quite fun setting it up, I would say. The tune is about £70. The U5 link delivered is about 60 And now it does say Yesu on it. I am wondering if with the right cable, it would the same box would work with my ICOM. I'll have to find that one out. And yeah, 857s are about £400, £500 second hand. You know, depending on the condition, if they're bad condition, you'll get one for less. It does the job and it's a nice classic radio. I have one from years ago. So when I use it, um, to me, for me, it's like watching an old movie. So I really enjoy using it for that retro experience. You know, how many times have we watched Ghostbusters? It's like that. So thanks for watching my channel. I, think, I don't think I've missed anything. And, uh, and good luck with your digi, digi modes on your A Yesu 857. And it will be virtually the identical setup for the Yesu 818, 817. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.